Hello everyone, uh, nice to meet you again. Uh, before I start my lecture, uh, let me uh, give you some uh, Bible passages for today's devotion. And uh, I hope you understand the uh, Lozungan I explained uh, uh, last week. And today we have two verses, one from the Old Testament Psalm, 71 verse 17 and the uh, New Testament from the Gospel of Luke chapter 2. Uh, let me show you the English version. Psalm 71 verse 17. Uh, maybe we can read it together. Okay. Since my youth, O God, you have taught me, and to this day I declare your marvelous deeds. Or, yeah, the context uh, might be uh, not exactly the same as the New Testament, but when we think of what God has done for us, His marvelous deeds are focused on the redemptive work of Jesus Christ. That is the ultimate salvation and redemption, right? And the the writer of this psalm mm, confesses that God has taught him and so to this day he uh, declares God's marvelous redemptive salvation. It is clear when you uh, understand uh, the corresponding passage in the New Testament, Gospel of Luke chapter 2, if you read, we can, you can find these three verses. Okay, let us read together. <laughs> Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you now dismiss your servant in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation. Well, who is Simeon? Uh, he was a man of God, a very old man in Jerusalem when Jesus was born. And the uh, parents brought the child Jesus according to the law in the temple of Jerusalem. And there was uh, Simeon who uh, prayed and uh, meditated God's word. But when he saw Jesus, he immediately knew that this baby is the promised Son of God, the Messiah. So he took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, now you dismiss your servant in peace because he was a very old man. Uh, he is going to die soon. But he has been waiting for the promised Messiah. And now he is so glad. His heart is so in peace because he has seen the promise of God is now fulfilled. And so he said, my eyes have seen your salvation. So he knew uh, that uh, this baby Jesus will be uh, the Son of God and be crucified on the cross and he'll, he will be resurrected afterwards. As you know, uh, next week is the week of Jesus' passion and suffering. We called it Holy Week or Passion Week. So next week, Friday, is the Good Friday when Jesus was crucified. So it's very meaningful. It's very uh, yeah, uh, important for us to understand how God has promised our salvation and how He has uh, fulfilled the promise by sending his son Jesus and Jesus died for us and he was risen again so that our redemption might be accomplished. 
So we can meditate these two verses for today. Let's pray and we will start our lecture. Lord, we thank you for what you have done for us. Through your death and resurrection, we are redeemed. So help us to praise you, to give you thanks, and open our eyes to see and understand what's going on in our redemption. What is the biblical and Christian view of this redemption in this class? And we ask your blessing to all students and let the Holy Spirit guide us to your truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.